Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to be replacing this dead shrub with a new one. Uh, what you're going to need to, to plant it so that it actually takes and doesn't die uh, die out during the year is you're going to need some peat moss, you're going to need some, uh, some good uh, soil to mix in with it, and the dirt that's in the hole itself. Now this one here, this soil is very sandy, so we're going to put a lot of um, peat moss and the topsoil in with it. And we're going to mix it all together and then we're going to put the new one inside over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dig this one out and get rid of it and we'll need a spade to, to dig or any kind of a shovel to dig a hole and just so you know the root ball itself from the new, sh the new shrub that we're going to put in you want to dig the hole twice the size of that shrub twice as high as height and also the, the round the diameter of the root ball itself. So we're going to make a pretty big hole in here so that we can actually, uh, you know, make sure we mix a lot of organic material in. All right, so, uh, all right, let's get started and uh, let's get this job done. Just gonna knock all the dirt off of the root. Okay, so this one we're done with this. We'll just put it to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take all the dirt in the hole here and we're going to take it out and we'll put it to the side. Okay, now that we have the hole dug out twice the diameter of the root ball and as deep, actually it's a little bit deeper than the root ball itself, we're now going to put the, uh, the topsoil into it or the potting mix, whatever. Uh, we're also going to put in some, uh, some peat moss and we're going to mix the peat moss with the soil that came out because as you can see the soil that came out is very sandy. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. Let's, uh, let's put the mixture in here, we're going to mix it all together and I'm going to lay this in and we'll finish it up. We're going to dump some of our topsoil or potting mixture into the hole. We're just going to mix it together a little bit. We're going to put some of this soil in there as well. And then we're going to continue mixing. And then we'll get the uh, the new shrub into here. Okay, so now after we mix the, uh, the uh, topsoil, the peat moss, and the uh, existing dirt, we're going to take some out and then we're going to put in our, our new shrub. Okay. Okay, so now that we have the, uh, the hole dug out to accommodate the new shrub. We're going to take the shrub, we're going to come over here, and we're going to take this, this burlap that's on here, and we're going to cut this burlap away. We're going to loosen up the roots in here, and then we're going to put it in a hole. So let me get a utility knife, and let's cut this open. Okay, and as you're cutting the, uh, the ropes away to, to get to the burlap to get it off there, you just want to make sure that you don't damage any of the root material or any of the tree or the shrub or whatever you're planting. You want to make sure you don't uh, damage that at all either. All 
Okay, it's very important that you cut away the burlap because you can't leave burlap on there because it'll have no place for the roots to go. And we need the roots to spread into this existing soil here. Okay, now we're just going to lift them. We're going to put it into the hole. We're going to put the burlap back up temporarily just to keep the dirt from falling apart. We're going to stick it into the hole here and then we're going to turn it the direction we want it. So let's do that. Okay, now once we have the shrub in where we want it, we're going to position it exactly as we want it. You want to make sure that the, the ground itself comes up to where the previous, uh, where it was growing in the fields before you had transplanted it here. Now we're going to pull this burlap out, and as you can see, it's a very dense soil that's around it. We're going to leave in as much of this soil around the roots as we possibly can. All right, so let me pull the burlap out of here, and then we're going to continue putting the, uh, the, back, the backfill with the soil mixture that we made. Okay, now we're going to take the mixture of the sand, the peat moss, and the topsoil, and we're going to shovel it in around the root of the tree or bush or whatever you're planting. You don't want to get in there and step down on it with your foot or anything like that. So you want to just fill in as much dirt as you can and then you'll uh, smooth it around. See, the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to step down on the dirt and push it down because you'll damage the roots that's in the ground. You're better off letting the, uh, letting the dirt fill in around the roots once you come in here with a watering can or a hose or whatever and you start to water it, the dirt will fill in to all of those small little voids down below. I'm going to break up any clumps of dirt that we have here. And we'll fill it all the way in, all the way around the entire 360 degrees until it's fairly level with the ground itself. And then we'll come in with a watering can and we'll just wet it down and we'll let the water soak down. And you'll notice that, this, that the dirt mixture that we put in there is going to start to sink down a little bit. So we'll put a couple of gallons of water in there just to get it to, uh, to soak down and settle down so that the roots are totally in the new dirt that we put in there. We'll leave it sit for a minute. We'll come back and water it again. All right, now we're going to get our rake and we're going to smooth the whole thing over. Okay, so now we have everything planted. I will show you this down on the bottom here. I did create a well around the root ball here so that we're going to concentrate for the next, probably the entire growing season, which will be probably for six months. We're going to concentrate on making sure that these roots get a lot of water so that they can spread out through the soil and this tree will take, uh, take root and it'll be permanently here. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to cut off this uh, rope that's on here to hold the, uh, the shrub together. So uh, that's it. We're pretty much all set. We're going to rake out the ground and we'll be all done. Okay, we created the well all the way around us and now we pour the water in. It'll actually seep in around the roots itself. And as time goes on, as we water in that ring right there, the, the dirt in the center around the tree is going to start to sink down and fill in around the roots. By having that, that moat around it, it's going to wind up where that dirt fills in the area that sinks down underneath the tree. And then we'll come in here, once it's set and uh, settled down, we'll come in here and we'll rake out whatever is existing still there. Now if your tree is not perfectly straight or your bush is not straight, at this point you want to probably stake it off in the ground and tie it so that it actually stays perfectly straight and that way uh, the dirt settles in around the roots and you'll be perfect. All right, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.